guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog this is just a vlog of like three days of my life I think I'm with my friend we're longboarding eating some cookies it's a good time so I hope you guys stick around <laughs> no it was right the first time just me or does everybody accumulate cups in the room? I always bring it up to get water and then I forget to bring them back down. Who knows? So currently I am stain sticking some of my stained clothes. This is something I usually don't get around to because I'm just like, well, I guess I'll just not wear these clothes, but it's kind of racked up to the point that I kind of have to wash them awesome. I've tried to wash it several times. It hasn't really done anything. So I don't know why this time it'll just magically work, but you can only hope. Pro tip, don't wear foundation when you're wearing a white hoodie. Okay, so for my parents' work, I edit their videos, and I am currently going to do some doodles and finish editing this video and hopefully I'll finish it by today. close to your last name. <laughs> nice. Uh. Masks ordered and there's a lot of things about public education that I don't really understand in general um, but this situation especially I'm just kind of like why it's going on. Um, for the AB blocking I'm kind of wondering like why are we doing this? Like what's the point? Because if somebody did have the coronavirus and was in one of the AB blockings and was asymptomatic, which means you don't show any of the signs or symptoms, does that mean that the entire block and all the kids there had to be quarantined for that specific amount of time? It just doesn't really make sense to me how that's any different from if you are to be at school with everybody there. I understand that there's reasons for these rules because it is a school and it's run by the state, which means if anything was to happen with the school and some kid getting corona, they'd have to, somebody could sue and that could turn really ugly and obviously you don't want that to happen. But it's also me longing for normalcy and like wanting it to be back to how it was before. Obviously everybody wants it to be back to how it was before. That's not what's, it's, it's taking the fun away from school. And it sounds so selfish and so like awful of me to say. I wish things were how they were before and I wish to see my friends, but my feelings are valid and I'm allowed to say that I miss my friends and I'm allowed to say I miss how it was before. But I also understand at the same time that it's what the school needs. It's also more than just me missing my friends. There's a lot more factors than that. There's families who are not able to find um, people to watch their kids while they're at work and people not being able to get a steady income at this time. And it's hard for families and for parents and for adults and for teenagers being out of work. So many people than just me missing my friends. And I think that's what I was trying to say is that there's, it's affecting everyone um, when schools are closed down. So I wish it was different. I wish there's a different way to go about doing this, but 
hoping to do a Bankruptcy for all students and faculty. Oh, nice. Thank you. How are you going to do temperature checks? guys thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it um thank you, you can subscribe if you want to anyway i hope you guys have a really great day and i will see you guys very soon all right bye